What's up guys, Coop here, and today we're going to be showing you guys a short tutorial on Divinity Original Sin 2 and how to get out of the Fort Jail prison. So, basically there is mainly one way that you get into this prison and get kind of locked up in here, is that you were caught without a source collar because of the arena. Now, it kind of sucks because you don't have anything to do, and if you're not an undead character or you have no undead characters, you really can't bust out of here. So, what do you exactly do? Well, there's actually a few different ways you can get around doing this. The first one is you could actually fast travel, which is kind of funny, but I'll show you that in a hot second. Uh, and then the next is you can kill this mouse here. Now, this mouse is a little kind of hard to deal with, and running around hitting the one button a bunch is kind of a pain in the butt to do. So what you gotta do is you gotta find him, and you gotta right click him. So. I'll do a quick save to, sh to show you that uh, doing fast travel works real quick. Alright, so what you do is you want to right click him and then click attack. Now it's kind of a pain in the butt because he moves around a lot, but you just gotta wait till he stops doing that. Now you might have to do this a couple of times, but eventually you will get him to stop. So we're gonna do it again. Uh, we're actually gonna cast a spell. And let's see, give him a little bit of fall damage. Like I said, though, he's really kind of a pain in the butt to do. But if you if you just try to uh, basically try to hurt him, it'll all work out. Okay, after taking forever, we finally killed the mouse. Now the mouse will have some lock picks. Now it is important to keep in mind that. Fevery is definitely one of the stats to use for pickpocketing doors, but if you don't have Fevery, it kind of sucks. But, have no fear, because the door here doesn't require any lockpicking skill whatsoever. Now, if I load up my other save here, just to show you the fast travel trick, a lot of people forget that this thing is a natural feature, but it's a different way of getting out. Also, a important note to know, uh, there is a chest out here. This is the chest that will have your stuff. So as you can see here, here is the cell that we escaped from. And this is the chest. I kind of forgot to mention that. Just so you know, all of your items will be in here. Everything. And you will have to re-equip your weapons. So keep that in mind in the future. Alright, and to demonstrate the good old fast travel, you click this lovely little anchor here. And you click that. And you click on square. Boom. You're out of it already. Now, of course, you're going to have another guy pop, probably pop up trying to attack you, but you can handle it because you're a badass. Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy. I just wanted to give you guys a short tutorial on something that's very annoying to deal with. Um, now, keep in mind, you do have a duration where you are a fugitive, so it takes a hot bit for that to go away. You can either sit down below if it's like tactician mode or honor mode and it's like a little hard to get through everything. But honestly, most of the time you can handle what is going on by yourself. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a guide because I know this gave me a lot of issues and got me really annoyed when I was doing the uh, first part of the campaign in Fort Joy. I hope you guys do enjoy. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe. I am trying to get up to 800 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it. I got myself up to 600 within like two months. I can get myself up to 800, I believe. So... Be on the lookout though, there's going to be more badass um, sort of Divinity Original Sin content. Uh, we're going to be trying to show a little bit more of the boss battles and show a little bit more of the, some awesome builds. I'm going to be starting to show more of like builds that are able to survive a lot better for things like honor mode and everything. I think we need to get into the sort of meat and potatoes of the harder content out there. So be on the lookout for that. I'll, I should be doing some streams as well. So if you ever want to just join in or look at the stream and see what I kind of do or pick up something new that you didn't know that you could do before, be sure to look on out for that. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.